YouTube, two to UK. Tales from the bloody booter. We were booting. What a day. What a day. What a difference a car makes. I'll tell you that. Now it's truer word has been spoken than my mate Ryan. It only takes one car. Uh, we'll leave that till last. I'm a bit skew iffy, aren't I? But we'll, yeah, we'll leave that one till last. Uh, happy Father's Day to all the fathers. Of the kids and the wife. Nice fitting t-shirt, um, yeah. So happy Father's Day with fathers and the mum dads and the granddads and you the dad you want. I'm just scouting around, scouting around. I've got a, some CX fodder, not really done great on that to be honest. <clears throat> and some other odds and sods. Now I'm debating whether to show you non-car boot stuff. Because uh, next week, hopefully, this will be midweek. Because I want to get this up before next week, which is the 23rd. It's a Saturday, because that's the Leeds market. So hopefully you would have seen my video from two weeks ago, which was delayed by a week. I have to apologise. Um, well, the power supply on my PC literally just melted internally. Melted, <laughs> it died. Um, so I had a power supply in order. It took a couple of days to come from Amazon. Um, so yeah, I've kind of been offline a little bit, uh, other than just having my phone, which is dead basic. Um, so yeah, hence why no video. Um, so I've edited it, uploaded it, um, I'll probably try and get that up today, so that should be up today, but this one will be up next week. But Leeds, uh, Super Retro Games Fair 23rd, say so hopefully be, when you're watching this, it'll be this Saturday. Um, so come along to that, so yeah, I might show you um, some of the pickups before then, because otherwise it'll be another the week or so. Um, so yeah, a bit of a hybrid video, a bit of a channel update slash Tales from the Booter and it's worth sticking around for Tales of the Booter at the end. Right, we will because otherwise I will forget stuff. Um, is that me blocking that sound? Anyway, from me mate Shocks, I mentioned Shocks in the video from Revival, do me a deal with some magazines, not that kind of magazine. But some official Sega Saturn magazines, and here we have another, another bunch, another bunch of magazines, and he's doing a, an absolute stellar deal on these. Again, I'm not going to flick through them all. You can see the numbers there. Um, what do we have in total? Two, four, six, eight, ten. Actually, I meant to say to Shocks, I've got number sixteen already. I don't know how, unless you put that in extra. I can't remember. Um, but with those. The other ones from Shocks and the ones I already had, I now only need, only need four. I need number one, number nine, ten, and eleven. And uh, yeah, number one's a bit of a bugger to get. So huge thanks to Shocks for them. Did me an absolutely storming deal on that. Do appreciate that, buddy. Um, yeah, so if anyone's got any of the magazines knocking about one, nine, ten, and eleven, uh, hit me up because I would like to complete that collection. Got flat glass. We'll do these as well though. While we're at it, fuck it. Fuck it, we'll do it, we'll do it live! Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll... No. we'll do it live! Fuck it! Do it live! These are CEX. I'm not gonna do the whole CEX spiel thing because it's not really um warranted for this video. It's just a car boot video, even though I'm shoehorning other bits into it. Um but I say you hope if you watched last week's vid, you would have seen I picked up a couple of Mega Drive games, box was absolutely mullered. I'm going to sneeze. Uh, I have now upgraded. <coughs> I've now upgraded them. Some nice copies. <clears throat> so first up, went to Mighty Max. Again, completely chalk and cheese. This is just box as well from, from CEX. Uh, them that have watched uh, last week's vid. It's uh, yeah, night and day. Amazing sometimes, he still amazes me even now. Um, and the other one, Trash Park Lost World. God, that sneeze. Man, it's got a crease in it, but it's there nonetheless, so that's quite nice. And then one, I took a flyer on this, I, I kind of knew, God, my nose, 
I knew it wasn't going to come through complete because I'm not even on that lucky. I do feel like I'm leaning over, leaning around the camera. I don't know why. Um, yeah, not even on that lucky. But uh, it is manualless. Uh, but the insert and everything is fine. There's very little to no sun fading, so quite happy to keep this in collection. Not cheap, 80 quid. Um, again, this was bought with some of that credit from the Xbox One and, and whatnot uh, trading, and it's Saturday Night Slam Masters. So quite a tricky one to get hold of. It's one of these weird sort of titles that you don't see too often, and it sits you know, above that £100 mark, generally. Um, but yeah, sadly no manual. But uh, like I said, I'm quite... I'm happy enough, probably that's probably the best way to say it. Stay down. Um, happy enough with that. Oh, I won't stay down, will it? Nope. So that's it. The rest is all just from the car boot. So uh, yeah, so I wanted to get them out of the way because otherwise next week I'll be stalling out at Leeds. I'll forget stuff, I'll put it away and you know, and it's nice to say thanks to people like Shox, you know, because they have, they have looked after me. So um, links down below to Shox's channel, go and check him out. Oh. Okay, not a massive haul from the car boot, but some really nice little items. Uh, first up, I'll do some CX fodder. I took a flyer on these. You know, I, I, I think I'm going to get to the point soon with these games. These are 360 games, but I'm just not going to bother. I nearly didn't bother with these, um, but I managed to chuck another one in, which kind of, I think the trading credit ends up being seven quid. So I've made two quid, you know. I mean, I'd spend five pound with CX at some point. I know anyway. So yeah, it, it's not as bad, but it's not as good as it could have been. So uh, young couple, uh, she was in the in the boot doing stuff out. And I can see like this bin liner, you know, and then them sort of like uh, not, not black bags, but like they are bin liners. You can see through like translucent. And I could see, obviously see the, the green of the. Um, that's skipping, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's skipping. I can see the the, the, um, the green cases. So I asked how much the games were. She did that weird thing where she went, oh, we haven't sorted them out yet. And I thought, for fuck's sake, why don't you put stuff in the bag? You haven't sorted it out. It's all DVDs and stuff. And I got chatting to them, and they kind of softened up a little bit. Um, and then when she brought the bag out, there were still more games in it, which I didn't think she realised, because she took some games out and put them in the boot, and then put the bag on the table with the DVDs in. So it's a bit, a bit weird. Um... But I say I found a couple of games in there and I started chatting to the guy, it ends up being there his games anyway. So the couple that she put into the uh actually I'm missing one. Oh no, I know what it is. I'm not missing one. She put some of them into the boot. Um, um so I picked three three from the bag, and then I seen there's two in the boot. Yeah, because the one I thought I had that didn't have a disc in it, which is need for speed pop pursuit, I think. Um Nothing special, guys, whatsoever. I thought these three might, or one of these three might have done all right. I got confused with this one. I thought this might have had some value to it. It hasn't. Avatar the game, so it's a load of shite. Uh, these are the ones I don't didn't really know a great deal about. Um, but between these, I think Avatar's like £1.20 trading. Uh, so we've got uh, Race Driver Grid. Grid All O Sport. Then Grid 2. So I said to him... So I had them three grids. I said, oh, would you do a fiver? Because I think that sounds about fair. Because I say I, I didn't know a great deal. I'm kind of winging it with them. Uh, and I would have just broke even at that. They said, yeah, it's fine. And I sort of said about the ones in the boot. Because I know the need for speed's maybe about a five, six pound game. No disc. I said, oh, well, Avatar goes, yeah, that's got it in there. I said, I'll tell you what, would you do all them four for a fiver? So I said, luckily, I managed to squeeze Avatar in and kind of, well, haven't lost any money. Um, really doubled or tripled the money, which is what you really want to be looking at uh, you know, doing the old CEX trading. I think this game's fooked. It's probably not too bad for me, because I say, I'll, I'll spend money there anyway. Uh, next up, bought this early doors. And she wouldn't budge on price. It's basically, I'm going to get my money back out of it. This has gone down in value, must have done, I know. Uh, Sims 2, the pets, paid two quid. It's two quid trading. I'm sure at one point these were five, six pound. So the game over. It was actual the the cable, not the game. <laughs> the game was skipping. It wasn't. It was a cable. So um, yeah, not a great deal on Sims 2. Uh, definitely gone down in value. Um, uh, hey ho, there you. Yes, living you learn. Um, 
there was a, a family, I'm not sure that that's the, I think it might be the nan or the mum early, earlier on about a game, she said no. I was speaking to the dad with the son. And that's about, you know, any sort of uh, video gaming stuff, Wii DS, yada yada yada. So, oh yeah, we've got a DS, it's a lad's DS. I'm not sure if he wants to sell it. So, okay, and then he shouted across to this um, nan or whatever it was, and they recognised her. Uh, and then we pulled out the bag, it was in the in the book. So the lad obviously wasn't sure if he wanted to sell it. It was only DS Lite. I think it looked like it was him and his sisters. Some of the games in there were, were, were sort of, you know, Gill games, really loud. Um, yeah, and to be honest, the DS Lite was a bit. I think she wanted twenty quid for everything. There was a lot of gearly games, nothing that really stood out except for these two. So I said to her, um, "Would you do a five on these two? And then I said, to, "And the selling point was you can still last twenty five then for the rest of it. So you're making thirty quid rather than twenty five. And the, the daughter's eyes lit up, you know. Um, so I picked out the two, the two best games. This one's CEX. This one here I might take to the show, I don't know, I'll have a think. It's Toy Story 3. I think you get about six quid for that, I think. So that's Moon Money Back. Um, and this is the cherry on the top. Cherry on the top. Dragon Quest 6, Realms of Reverie. Reverie. It's got everything in it. The points, unscratched. The whole shebango. So I might take that to the show. It's a nice sort of £10 game. The CEX I think is selling it for 13 or something. So. About 10, I think that's a good buy for anybody who's, who wants it. Well, didn't see this game, uh, this game. Didn't see this um, machine at all. Ryan called me over, one of the other chaps who's like a buyer, dealer, whatever you want to call it. Pointed out, Asian chap, not nice enough guy. Um, really badly broken English, you know, but he's nice enough. He knows I'm into all this stuff. And it was literally hidden under the table. It's in, like one of them, you know, you put your clothes under the bed with. You, even when they point it out, I still couldn't see what they're pointing at until they pulled it out. And it's just a fat PS2. Fat PS2. Would have been ideal for me if I had my Asian mate. Um, with a memory card. Magic Cat's memory card. Fucking more memory cards I'm not to do with. Shitty control. All the hookups. Two quid. So, for two quid, I'm not going to leave it there, even the spares, repairs, I'm sure I can get more than two quid out of that. So, many thanks to Abdul, I don't know what his name is, Mr. Khan. Um, not game related, but still quite highly collectible. Never seen one of these before. Uh, these are from the same store at different times. Um, did buy some apps. Oh, there's some of the, um, like, figure, uh, toy stuff from them that's probably not interesting seeing that these are quite interesting um i bought this one first my mate again ryan had pointed this out said this is any good to you 20p i've bought stuff from these before uh both this by both pokemon things and i'm sure this is the same store that give me an empty game boy advanced pokemon box and this is don't get the right way around because one's the wrong way wrong right pokemon emerald version radio lantern watch alarm clock and it hasn't been used i mean the box has got a few dinks in it uh, but I don't think the thing's actually ever been used. There is someone asking, it's like 20 quid for this online. That is not to sort of say that's what it's worth, as we all know. It has got the instructions. Yeah, never, hasn't been used. 20p. I'm not going to leave it there for 20p, are you? Um, yeah, so it was a weird store because they had like a big pickup truck type thing but they had a load of clothes and whatnot and it just took them ages to get stuff out and I went, I went back late, uh, later on I mean got that early uh, start early doors went back later on I was there found a few more bits and I found this this was stuck it started to rain it had been raining um, this has been a bit wet this was in the DVD section as soon as I opened it up I didn't open it too much and saw how much is that he said oh 50p like fine it's probably, there's definitely more than 50p's worth in it, I know anyway, it's Pokemon trading card games, I've got fucking loads of these, but 50p I'm not going to turn them down, I'm not going to go through them all. There's not many shinies in there, but I have got some shinies that I'm going to take to the show, so my thinking was, even at 50p for the book, it's worth it, I could put the book on the table, you know, and people can look through them. Um, that's the, the idea anyway of that, whether or not I get around to doing any of that, who fucking knows, but for 50p, 50p, 50 pence. 
it's worth a go. Worth a go of anyone's money, I'm sure. And then we come to the grand finale, as we like to say, the pièce de résistance. Um, I'm not going to be bullish or ungrateful. It, this is not as good as I thought it was. It's still absolutely fucking fantastic. Do not get me wrong. But it's not as good as I, th I was hoping it was going to be. So I have to explain the story. Um, it wasn't like an early door thing. I didn't ask the lady. It was literally the perfect fucking alignment. I walked up to the store. The lady was talking to a chap I know who collects records. Um, oldish lady. Well, she was old, not older. She was definitely old. Um, and I heard, I thought I heard her say PlayStation 3. I don't think the guy who collects records heard what she said. But she had this on the, on the chair and she started to open it up. And as she opened it up, I could see what was in it. But she's talking to him as she's opened up. She's saying, oh, PlayStation 3. And she lifts it up. And the guy sort of says, oh, no, no, he goes, I thought he's full of records. Walked away. And there was an Asian chap to the right of me. I think he was just browsing. I, did, I didn't push him out of the way, but I was made sure I was, my body was between him and this, this item. And everyone else. And I literally grabbed the lid. I shook the lid and said, oh, how much is it? She said, um, oh, I'm not selling them separately. I'm selling a lot. So that's fine. How much? She went, 20 quid. I went, there you go. Bang, straight away. So I didn't even look in the, the box. I'm not lying. I didn't look in it. I seen what was in it. I didn't focus on anything. Um, paid the 20 quid. Lewis come up behind me and said, that was a great find, you bastard. Um, and unbeknownst to me, there was a load of other, like, fucking lurchers behind me and everything else. So they all went away, like, really pissed off. Lewis had said to me, there's one a particular game. I didn't even see it, I didn't even know it was in there. <clears throat> I, said, I didn't know what was in there. I fucking paid the money and got the fuck out of there, got out of Dodge. So it's a load of PlayStation 1 stuff, not PlayStation 3. Um, and bless them, they sort of said, oh, there's a console, there's a console. Um, and managed to dig it out. I think it's been uh, customised, shall we say. <laughs> You've all seen a PlayStation 1, but oh my God. At first I thought it might have been like a... A, a reskin, you know, you can get the, the cases, it's not someone's just painted it. So, yeah, it looks shite, essentially. Um, but I do believe it's modded. I'm sure that is modded, and I'll tell you why in a minute. So, yeah, it's PlayStation stuff. Um, and I can't remember what movie it's from. I'll put the clip in here uh, in a minute when I show you what, what was basically what was being bought. So, what the lady had oh, was this. So she had this on a chair behind her, and obviously the chap thought it was records. I didn't know it, it, what he was after until I spoke to him afterwards, because I said to him, what did you want to buy this case, the suitcase? Because I was I'm thinking maybe people collect old suitcases. And he goes, no, no, he goes, I thought, I thought it was full of records. Um, and I sort of said, yeah, I've seen you buy, I know you buy records with you and your mate. Um, but when she unzipped this, it was like the scene, I'm sure it's Pulp Fiction, I'll put it in here. We have Vincent, we happy? Yeah, we happy. So it's like that, and as she lifted it up, I just shut the lid again. Um, I've, I've jigged these about, cleaned them up a little bit, put them into sort of up some order, not order, but just tidied them up because uh, the controller and all that was, was jammed in the, in the box. So. I'll show you what it looked like, which is like that. And it's heavy, so you see all that. Hopefully you can see all that. And I just shut the lid. Oh. Now some of these are, are no-brainers. There's one that's in that, which I'll leave to last, which is absolute fucking gold. Um, and there's some of these I haven't got. That's fucked up again. I'm sure the cable's dying on the fucking PlayStation. Yeah, I think the I think it's either the lasers going in the PlayStation or the, or the cables dying. One or two of that. Anyway, so there's some of the, some of these in here I haven't got. There's some sealed, some sealed games. Um, I haven't checked any of um, other, you know, other than the ones that I know that stand out. So there's a couple of like Midas games which could be worth a small fortune for all I know. I don't know. Um, a couple of sealed seal games. There's a few sealed games actually. I thought there's more than two.
and it was just two. And three on, on the whole, no, it's just two. On the whole, the cases are in great condition. It's two sealed. We haven't had sealed for ages. It's sealed. But we're never gonna survive unless we get a little crazy. Music 2000, I mean, yeah, and uh, truck racing, my just touch, probably not worth fucking anything, but sealed, sealed games, sealed games in the collection, not really in the collection, let's be honest, um, quite nice, sort of, I think I've got Space Jam, I'm sure all these are complete as well, uh, Vegas Casino, Definitely got this one, uh, Peter Pan Adventures in Neverland. Oh, fuck. Disney's Tarzan. It's definitely dying, that is. Grand Theft Auto London. Scooby Doo and the Cyber Chase. So. This one I'm not sure of, I've never heard of this one before. Santa Claus Saves the Earth. Disney's Goofy Funhouse. A lot of Geely games. Geely ish. Um, Casper has been put into a different case, so I need to probably sort that one out. Um, that That's fucked. Disney's Quack Attack. This game here, I mean. Quite a nice black label Spider Man. <clears throat> Sampras Extreme Tennis. Not had that one before, that's an early release, 217. Bunch, Mary Kate and Ashley's Magical Mystery Mall. Case Donor, Puznik. ET I've definitely got, that's a dupe. Lilo and Stitch, Trouble in Paradise. Rugrats Search for Reptiles, quite a sort after one. This is missing the manual. I think I've got a couple of copies of that anyway. Um, Save them. Another Mary Kate and Ashley stream mall. Someone obviously like Mary Kate and Ashley. Austin Powers Pinball, I'm sure I've got that. Pinball Power. Frogger. Rugrats Paris the movie. Rugrats in Paris the movie. Um, Jigsaw Madness. Land of Four Time Racing Adventure. Rayman 2 The Great Escape. Platinum, quite a nice game though. Uh, Grand Theft Auto 2. Zyke. Sorcerer's Maze. Gubble. First Black Label Rayman, quite nice. Croc. Legend of the Gobbos, Platinum. Case Donor, who wants to be a millionaire. OG Grand Theft Auto, and I've got the maps for this. So let me. Uh... The maps. There was. Rattling around in the box, so I thought, well, next time I sort it out, I'll put them together. Uh, actual soccer. Got the thin, bundled. Quite a nice ape escape. 
Another Mary Kate and Ashley Crush Course Star Sweep Arcade Party Pack. Quite good games on that actually. Uh, 720, Clack, Smash TV, Rampage, Super Sprint, and Tubin. Um, yeah, I say some nice little titles on that. The, the front does deceive it somewhat. It looks you know, like a shitty title. Uh, talk about shitty titles. Spice World. Detective Barbie, The Mystery Cruise. Told you very gearly. Um, Harry Potter, Philosopher's Stone. Quite a nice one. I'm not sure if I've got this. I think it might pipe mainly 3D. Probably the only one that's got a bad case. Barbie Explorer and Dana you don't need I'll, I'll message you anyway but you don't need to bring this to um, to Leeds now I've got my own copy finally which is what you sort of see in the background playing and I've got a black label copy of Ridge Racer, Ridge Racer Revolution fucking hell I cannot talk not bad I think it's a good deal 20 quid 20 squid last told you 20 quid good deal what about these games? The best, the, the pick of the, the lot if you like. Um, nice theme park there. Early release, it's number 72. Come on you motherfucker. Uh, double case worms, I've got worms. Not, I've got, well I probably have got worms as well but I've got that worms again. Uh, nice Space Invaders, yet another one's cracked, unfortunately. Um, this is quite a nice one, Bubble Bobble at Rainbow Islands. One I haven't got, I have now, which is Namco Museum Volume 2. It's quite cool. Xevious, um, Dragon Buster, Super Pac-Man. Grow back, Mappy, and Gapless. I can't even read that. Gapless. I should have just read the front because it's in proper text rather than the weird writing. Super Batman, Xevious, Mappy, Gapless, um, Rob Dat, Dragon Buster. Overboard. Don't think I've got overboard. I have now. Crash. Which is probably worth the 20 quid on its own, let's be honest, even though it is still platinum. Um, if that's not enough, although this, be, uh, this is where Who Wants to Be Millionaire comes into play. Smashed up case, but nonetheless, Sparrow Year the Dragon. And that would be a decent score, especially nowadays. You don't see many PlayStation 1 games, not in that kind of quantity, not for that price. But the real icing on the fucking cake is this one that Lewis spotted. I say I didn't see it. Uh, I'd sort of seen Crash, and I think one or one or two of the games. I thought at twenty quid, I'm, I'm I'm good, even if they are a lot of them are like foddery get type games. So happy to get this one. It is Tomby. Fucking, you know what? I have never, ever, ever seen Tomby in the wild. Just got a few stickers I need to get off because it's got, I don't know, I could just swap the case, I'm not sure I need to look. Because if, that if, that, if that's meant to be on it, I'd probably want to keep that on it. Um, yeah, all there. So that is a really good find. I mean, what that's 100 plus game, isn't it? I think, I'm sure, me and Lewis had a discussion, I'm not sure if Tombi 1 or 2 is a more expensive. Uh, it's probably Tombi 2 no more, like this is probably like 60 quid now, 50 quid. But still, really nice little haul there. Um, probably the best single haul from a boot I've had for, I don't know, a couple of years now. Because you don't see the stuff. You see bits, you know, the odd one or two things ever. In that kind of quantity, then it's, it's um, you know, you don't see it. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed that. I'm obviously really happy. You know, like I say, it's been a long time since I've, I've uh, uh, dropped on anything from the car boot like that and especially stuff that I haven't got it's really nice to finally find something I haven't got uh, that I can put into the collection so yeah I'm going to love you and leave you have a good one take it easy YouTube and I'll speak to you soon bye bye